Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Fade In series. In part one, we taught you how to create the animation, which looks like this. In this part, we're gonna teach you how to activate the animation on scroll. So I'm gonna scroll to the top of the page, click the refresh button, and as soon as I scroll to that part of the page, the animation is gonna take effect. All right, so this is very common in modern websites. That's why it's important for you to learn this. Now I'm gonna show you an example of somebody that used this very well. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the reason for teaching you how to do this. All right, guys, before we start, it's important for you to watch part one. And that's because we're going to be working with code that we created in that part. All right. First thing we're going to do here is remove these classes. So these are the classes that create the animation, but we want to remove them because we don't want the animation to take effect as soon as we hit the refresh button. So we're going to add these back with JavaScript. All right, now we're going to create a very basic website so you can see how this works. So I'm going to add a header. I'm going to give it an ID of header and it's going to display header. Now we're going to create three sections for three different web pages. This is the home page. I'm going to copy this twice. This is the about page. And this is the contact page. For this one, we're going to remove the H1 and we're going to copy what we created in part one and we're going to paste it in here. So these images or these divs are going to be inside of the contact page. All right, that's it for the HTML. For the CSS, we're going to remove the body. We don't need that. We just added that for demonstration purposes in part one. What we are going to add is, or what we're going to remove, I should say, is the padding and the margin. So we're going to set both of those to zero. And for the header, let's give it a minimum height of 70 pixels and a border, one pixel solid black, so you can see it. For the home about and contact page, we're going to give it a height of 720 pixels. And let's also turn it into a flex box so the contents within these pages could be in the center. So let's use justify content center, align item center. And let's also give it a border so we can see these pages. All right now we have this very basic website and now we're going to add those classes that we deleted here with JavaScript so the way we go about this is we have to check for when this shows up on the screen as soon as this shows up we want to add the classes and the way that we're going to check for when that shows up is we have to look out for this container the reason is because this container contains these three divs which have the images of course the way we're going to do this is with a class called intersection observer. So we're going to store it in this variable called observer. Let's type in intersection observer. All right, before we add the classes back, we have to indicate which class we're looking out for. So we're going to use observer, observe, and in here, we're gonna use document, query selector, and let's include the container class. All right, in here, we're gonna type in entries for each entry. Let's add an if statement. So if entry is intersecting, 
then we want to add the classes back. So at this point, this is in our view. So we're going to add the classes. I'm going to expand this so you can see this better. So we're going to do document, query selector all. We're going to select the animated class and we want to select the first one. So we're going to add a zero there. We're going to use class list, add, and we're going to add the fade in left class to this one. We can copy this twice. This is going to be one and two. And for this one, we're going to use fade in top, and this is going to be fade in right. All right, let's see how this looks now. All right, so let's scroll up. Let's refresh. And when we scroll down, we can see that the animation took effect. But I don't know if you noticed that there was a, a small glitch. Let me see if I can get it again. Did you see it? it? It happened really quick. Well, the way to remove that is we go to our CSS file. And notice in our animated class, we added the image. So as soon as the scroll effect takes effect, it has to remove these images before it adds the animation. So we have to remove these images and we're, at, we're gonna add them directly to the animation. So that's the image for the fade in left. Now let's copy the image for the fade in top and we're gonna paste that in there. All right, and the last one is this one. So let's delete this. And we're going to add that to the fade and right. All right, so now when we do this again, let's refresh. And now the animation shows up smoothly and there's no glitch. All right, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned a lot. Please hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.